Golden State is under an excessive heat warning and these high temps leading to planned outages or rolling blackouts across the state and right here at home amid our triple digit heat. And as of today, Southern California Edison says these outages will affect over 7,000 customers in Riverside County. And with temperatures reaching 115 degrees, some customers are pleading the company to postpone them. Our Carmela Carter joins us live from our satellite center tonight with their story. Carmela. Olivia, we've been getting comments and calls from SCE companies, customers complaining about these outages and worried about more to come, especially for families with young children and older parents, because this heat wave isn't letting up anytime soon. I think there's a lot of people that are concerned, but they don't know where to go. Sean Ellington is just one of many concerned about these planned outages, not for herself, but for her parents. The elderly people live alone, a lot of them. They have no way to, or money to get to a hotel or transportation. I you know, help watch my parents so they can come over here, but I still don't have accommodations. So some people don't. So I don't know if they're thinking about all that. And it's hard on the average person and then let alone an elderly person. Ellington and her parents live in Cathedral City. They were notified by Southern California Edison that their power would be shut off next Thursday from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. That day, temperatures are expected to reach 114 degrees. But even by 10 p.m., it's still in the triple digits. As her parents are approaching their 90s, having outages in this extreme heat is too much to bear. My mother has dementia. She gets confused. And I don't think people realize how hard it is for them. You know, they get mentally and physically stressed out. So why is all these outages coming right now? It doesn't seem right to me. And my wife is on a heart monitor, and there's no reason they can't promote it for a couple more weeks. It's going to get better in a couple weeks. And they know they're not alone. I reached out to our neighborhood app. A lot of people have been having this all summer, and some people twice. I know a lot of elderly people that have no family. What are they supposed to do? And they'll stay in their homes. Even like with my parents, they, they want to stay. Someone will try to stay just to see if they can take it. All they can do now is hope for a delay. I'm going to get the air conditioning down and hope that, that that'll work. I just hope that they're going to only turn it off if it's crucial and just let the people know we have that right to know. SCE has said that these outages may not happen and will only occur if it's absolutely necessary. As of right now, these maintenance outages are still on schedule. Live in the Satellite Center, Carmela Karcher, NBC Palm Springs, News First.